In this video, we will be looking at an overview of worksheet functions used to perform basic statistical calculations. Excel has a number of useful statistical functions built in, but here we look at only a few commonly used ones. This is an entire list of the statistical functions of Excel. Here we will look at univariate descriptive functions. So as you can see, here all functions take one argument that is a cell range that holds the values to perform the functions on. Average computes the arithmetic mean. Then you have functions to find the median, mode, standard deviation and geometric mean of a range. Max gives you the maximum in the cell range. Min gives you the minimum in the cell range. Count computes the sample size. Count blank computes the number of blanks in a cell range. Count if counts the number of non-blank cells within a range that meets a given criteria. Large returns the kth largest value. Small returns the kth smallest value. If k is less than or equal to 0 or k is larger than the number of data points, the function large or small returns an error value. Rank returns a rank of a number in a list of numbers. It takes three arguments, the number, the reference range and the order. If the order is 0, the list is sorted in descending order. If it is non zero, it is sorted in an ascending order. All these functions have a special condition. If the array range contains text, logical values or empty cells, it is ignored. But if a zero is present, the value is included. Now let us look at how these functions are used in the worksheet. The standard deviation is calculated by using n-1 method, that is, it assumes the arguments are a sample of a population. If the data represents the entire population, use stdevp function. So here we are trying to find the third largest number, that is 78. Then we are trying to find the second smallest number, that is 45. As you can see, we are including 3 blanks and the function returns 3. The counter function counts the number of arguments that satisfy a specific criteria. Here we are trying to find the number of values greater than 50. The rank finds the rank of Kelly Lexington in English. And we use zero as we want it in the descending order. Next let's look at some bivariate descriptive functions. The first function is finds the correlation between two ranges x and y. The slope computes the slope for a line. The intercept com computes the intercept. The trend function takes four arguments. The y cell range, the x cell range, the new x and a constant. If the constant is true or omitted, the B is calculated normally. If the constant is false, B is set equal to 0 and the M values are adjusted so that Y is equal to MX. Now let us look at how these functions can be used in the work. Here we are trying to find out if there is a correlation between the English and Max marks of the students. As you can see here, the value is 0 0.7 that means there is a high correlation between the two. Next we will look trying to find the slope for the line y is equal to 2x plus 4. And it gives the value 2. Next we will look at the intercept. So 
so this is where the line meets the x axis next we look at the trend function here we have the cost for 13 months we are trying to predict the cost for the 14th to 15th month here we are using the trend function so the first argument is the y range then the x range then we have the x value that we need to determine and then the constant next look at the gaussian functions the norms disk gives the percentile for a z score while the norms inverse gives the z score for a percentile This concludes the chapter on statistical functions.